on occasion, the spirited man will feel the need to bug out, to leave the situation. Not to escape, no, but for a break. At times, the spirited man has had it. Perhaps he cannot afford it, but he feels he'll die if he doesn't, so he goes anyway. Perhaps it is a woman, a lover, who has inspired the bug out. Perhaps it is two women, two lovers. Perhaps three, perhaps all of them. Why can't I do anything? Perhaps the spirited man has been unfair. Perhaps he needs solitude for a while. Perhaps he needs a break from lovers. spirited man seeks counsel. Counsel from a spirited woman. This particular spirited woman is not a lover. This particular spirited woman is a friend. An old friend from far away. An adventure. A sailor twice around the world. Proximity to this particular spirited woman gives this particular spirited man insights and reflection, gives him perspective. He will carry this perspective, these insights, all through Mexico in this year of no winter. He will be an adventurer in this land of strangers. in truck, on motorcycle, in mountains, in water. He will think about women. In Mexico with his books and his music and his paper and his solitude, this spirited man will learn two things, has learned two things, learned two things in this year of no winter. First, he has learned that his entire concept of lovers has been wrong. Before his bug out, he had, unbeknownst to himself, seen lovers as drugs, as medicine to treat his ails and as chemicals to bring him joy. He has learned that perceiving women as drugs has caused harm. He has learned that women are not drugs. The second thing he has learned, well, not learned, but understood, finally, was the meaning of the words of another spirited man, the words of a poet. He finally understands what the poet meant. And the poet said this, the poet said that women are the other half of the sky. Women are the other half of the sky. This, the spirited man has come to understand alone during the year of no winter.